In this video, I'm going to show you how to play at the next level, whatever that might be for you. I'm going to pull back the curtain on what I do with my athletes and how I guarantee the results so that they can play at that next level, whatever that might be, whether that's starting in high school, playing in college, playing pro, whatever it is. Just so we're not wasting anyone's time, this video is only for those who are really serious about this game and are willing to work very hard. If that doesn't sound like you, you can go ahead and check out my Instagram at david.avok. I post a ton of free content on here that you can really learn from and get a whole lot of value from. But if you're both passionate about this game and willing to work very hard for your results, this is the path to playing at that next level. Just to give a little bit of a background on myself and who I am, my name is David Avok. I'm from the Bay Area in California. And when I was in high school, I went from a player who was undersized, overlooked, and frankly not good enough, and I was even cut in high school, to one of only three players on my senior year team to actually go on and play in college, where I was one of the most efficient shooters in the state of California, as you can see my shooting percentage there. Now I help athletes of all levels make their own transformations, just like I did. This is just some of the response that I've gotten from players and parents that I work with, both in person and fully virtually online. I've been able to get kids their career highs and really transform kids of all skill levels and backgrounds, you know, whether that be, you know, beginners and kids, middle school, high school, college, D1, whatever it is, I've been able to help players of all different backgrounds and skill levels. So you're probably wondering how all this works. So I'm going to show you the three-step process that I boiled down from working with almost 70 athletes at this point and putting in literally thousands of hours. This is the three-step process that I've come up with to really ensure and guarantee the results for the players that I work with. So our first pillar is basketball skill. So we do this a little bit differently. We look at a player's skill deficiencies. So on the left, for example, I'm breaking down a player's shot. We compare his shot to the best of the best, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Devin Booker, et cetera. Uh, and so we want to see what those high level players are doing that the player that I'm working with isn't doing and what is making the pros successful that they're not doing. We compare and contrast and then we do specific drill work to correct any inefficiencies or mechanical errors that we see. Just some more response that I've gotten from players and parents that I work with. Again, this is um, some of this is in person. Some of this is fully virtual. The kid on the bottom is fully virtual. I've gotten kids at career highs here. So this is a very important pillar that I've been able to really transform for uh, athletes that I work with. The next pillar will be basketball strength. As you can see, I'm not a trainer who only specializes in one aspect. I don't just specialize in skill. I don't just specialize in vertical jump, core, speed, mobility, whatever it is. I try to make sure that players reach their full potential. And in order to do that, they're going to have to actually work on every single aspect of the game so they can be as good as they possibly can be. So with strength, this is not only uh, physical upper body strength, core strength, but it's also mobility, explosiveness, um, speed, all of that good stuff. This is not something I make up or get from social media. I have a certification in this, a specialization in this, and a degree in this, all right? I analogy that I like to say is, well, track athletes are very fast, but we don't want basketball players moving like track athletes. So you see here on the left, uh, a couple Olympic athletes running the 100 meter dash, they're running very upright, their chest is up. And then we have LeBron on the right, you can see his, this leaned over position that he's in, it's very basketball specific mobility that he's running in. And this is what we're trying to do. So we're not trying to get a player just fast. We want a player to be fast in a basketball specific scenario. Just some more response that I've gotten um, in terms of um, getting players to be a little bit more explosive, jump higher, run faster, that sort of thing. Again, both in person and online. Rody here is an athlete that I work with, um, got his vertical up by five inches in four weeks, crazy transformation. And we did this all while still improving his speed numbers, his shooting numbers, his ball handling numbers. So we still keep basketball the main thing, but we still are improving his strength, explosiveness, mobility, all that. And if you wanna see the transformation and what we did, you can go ahead, uh, go onto my Instagram. It's the second pin video. You can see some of the stuff that we've done uh, to actually get him that transformation. Uh, the last pillar is something that I think a lot of players and trainers and parents are really overlooking in its basketball IQ. This is a mix not only of confidence, but of specific IQ. We're trying to get the player to understand the game, no terminology, no plays, and really become someone who the coaches want with the ball that they really trust. So We'll break down a player's film if they have access to it. If they don't have access to it, we'll still want to look at the players from the highest level. Chris Paul, Steve Nash, all those players that not only are, you know, excelling at the highest level, but are excelling at the specific role or position that a certain athlete might be playing. So they can also learn from what they're saying. This is how to guarantee the results on this path to the next level. Unlike a lot of trainers, I actually guarantee everyone that I work with to get better um, because I absolutely hate when a parent or a player waste their time, money, or energy 
on inefficient, outdated methods that just aren't getting them the results that they need. This is how I guarantee that. So I've come to realize over the years, just spending thousands of hours perfecting this thing and working with dozens of athletes, both in person and online, that basketball is at a specific disadvantage. It does not have a lot of numbers behind it. Um, unlike track, which is something I mentioned earlier, they have a lot of numbers. So you run a hundred meter dash and you know, as you get better at your sport, that number goes down. And obviously they have numbers for, you know, like throwing and jumping and things like that as well. Well, basketball doesn't really have that. Players are more or less left to feel like they're getting better, feel like their footwork is getting better, feel like they're getting faster, feel like their shooting is getting better. So players and parents are left to feel almost uncertain as to whether or not there's results from the work they're putting in. So I've come up with a unique set of tests that ensure a player is getting better. So we have a bunch of different tests. Um, we have physical tests that are a little bit more common, like broad jump, vertical jump, obviously with strength, the number on the bar, the number on the dumbbells goes up. So those are a little bit easier to measure. But yet again, a, a lot of people aren't actually testing to see, are they getting faster? Are they jumping higher? Are they getting stronger? And we have other tests that are a little less common that I've come up with to test a player's ability to handle the ball, to shoot, to finish, and all the other aspects that I've mentioned um, in this program. So these tests are done when I start working with an athlete to sort of get a baseline on, you know, their strength, their explosiveness, their skill in terms of, you know, shooting, ball handling, finishing, so that um, when we retest in a few weeks after we do work to improve those aspects, they can see those results. So um, just give you guys some examples. Uh, we have a player here that I work with testing his vertical jump. We'll do some work in the weight room you know, do plyometrics and then we'll retest so that he can see the improvement in his numbers. Another player that I work with, this is more about shooting. So we do some shooting tests and like the process that I mentioned earlier, we will compare his shot to the best of the best, see what he's doing that is maybe a little bit more inefficient and then improve on his shot, retest so that he can see the improvement in numbers. And as I'm making this video, actually yesterday, this next athlete that I work with was able to improve his percentage in a shooting test by about 15% using the same process of testing, doing specific drill work, comparing his shot to the best of the best, and then retesting so that you could see those results. So if you're a basketball player looking to play at that next level, here's a path. You could take what I talked about in this video and run with it and figure it out on your own, or you could work directly with me and I can walk you through this process and hold your hand and really guarantee those results for you. What I do is I program through an app, it's fully individualized. I don't believe in cookie cutter programs or putting basketball players into a box they don't fit in. Every basketball player and every athlete is their own individual with their own strengths and weaknesses. And I fully recognize that. And I make sure that I program for that. So what I do is I program through an app. We work on those three pillars, skill, strength, and IQ. They're progressive. So as you get better, the workouts will continue to you know challenge you so that you can continue to see those results. We break down film, you have full access one-on-one -on -one messaging with me. And like I said, we work on those three pillars. Every single program comes with videos, explanations so that you can follow them, know what to look out for, common mistakes, that sort of thing. We're working on footwork, ball handling, finishing, shooting, all the things that I've mentioned. Like I said, you can figure out this process on your own, but realistically it'll take years to figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, how to create a plan that works, how to manage your time. And time realistically is a resource that you can't ever get back. Once a week or a month or a year has passed, you can't ever get it back. Especially true with a four-year high school career. You only have four years to get to whatever goal you have, right? So if you're looking to shortcut that process and speed it up and make it more efficient, you can work directly with me. Just work with tons of athletes and gotten results time and time again. In order to do that, message me on Instagram at david.avoc and we'll get started right away.